So this is the story of how 45 chicks teach me so much softness. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, Maya and Devi, they got uh, so many chicks. I think it was from a local man who, who wanted to get rid of them, maybe. But anyway, there were just so many chicks. Oh, it was so cute and they just reminded me of being a child. We had chicks when I was a, a small child. And uh, just the sound and the smell and everything, it just reminded me so much of my childhood. First of all, it was so cute to see Whenever Maya was coming near these chicks, they would just all run to her and they, would, they wouldn't do this with anyone else than Maya. But they just knew that, ah, this is our mother. <laughs> and then slowly and slowly, I was spending more and more time <laughs> with these small chicks. So many predators here, like crows and ravens, eagle, rats, they would come and, and want to, to eat the chicks. So it was so important that there were one person looking after them always, so they could still stay out and, and just walk around in the garden. It's a dangerous life, being a chick. Maybe you can hear it right now, but the crows and ravens are just ready for hunting. One bird attacked one of the chicks the other day. And then Maya made medicine. She, uh, she made butter and turmeric and she put a bit on, on the wound and then she gave a bit for eating and now the chick is fine. So I have my stick and then I'm ready to, to do some dangerous stuff. <laughs> they flew, they attack. <laughs> and that's just like saying wah. <laughs> so I would always uh, just bring my knit knitwear and then I was thinking, yeah, then I can just sit and knit while, while I'm taking care of these chicks. And uh, <laughs> actually, I didn't knit, I didn't knit so much <laughs> because it required very much attention, you know. If I would look away for one second, then the chicks would be everywhere, pretty much. <laughs> if one chick uh, was running, then everyone was was running along and if I then started running after them then they would just run even faster so in the beginning I was kind of lost because I was just running in all directions and then trying to 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 get them together because if I couldn't see them all then well then they would just be be eaten by <laughs> by a predator so it was like ah and it was so funny then sometimes uh, one would fall down into the vegetable garden and then I would have to go around and then very gently pick it up. Also, they were so clever because I was sort of keeping them in one area so I could always see all of them. So if I would look at the crow and then look back and then all of the chicks had just passed me. <laughs> so then I had to go get them again. But I found that if I had a stick and then I could just gently, gently move the stick. Then slowly they learned that, ah, okay, not further than this. And then in this way I could just easily guide them. I had to move so slow because if I was moving fast, then they would get so scared. And then I just realized, okay, if I move very slow and, and just really be with them with softness, then they would just be so calm and then I could just like gently guide them with that softness. And that just really made me realize how my being in the world has such a huge effect on my environment. If I'm all stressed out and, and hurrying so much, then that's also what I what I give to my surroundings. No matter if it's it's people or other beings or you know. <sighs> yeah. And then even when I found out that when I'm when I was acting very soft with them, and I could actually then sometimes they would come to me and then I could like pet them like or like cuddle with them just like under the cheek 
<laughs> so, so I would just like do this, tick, 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 like under the neck. Oh my God, it was so cute. <laughs> and just being, being able to have a connection like that with, with this small being. It was a very beautiful experience. Also, it was they were so awesome. It was just like one chick would would uh, find something to eat, like a piece of corn or some salad or something, and then it would just run, 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 run. And then another chick would follow after, and then uh, grab the the thing from from the first chicken, and then chicken number one would be like, ah, okay, and then <laughs> would just find something else, just accepting and then finding another solution. It was really wise, you know. So this this sort of became a routine of mine, just sitting there with them a couple of hours each day, and every day they would just grow bigger and bigger. And from one day to another, some of them uh, grew a tail feather. I was like, whoa, so fast growing. And then one day when I went down. So the chicks, they weren't there, and it turned out that uh, that now it was time for them to to get going. So they were moved from from that place and then to this place where Maya Maya just uh, went checking on them. A little bit more shifty. Yeah. Wow, they also became so big. You see? Yeah, so big. I don't know, I'm, I see every day. Yeah. That's why she's. <laughs> yeah. The tail? Tail become bigger as well. Mm. Wow, going so fast. You think they're going fast? Yeah, very fast. <laughs> Eating so much good food. <laughs> yeah. Every day vegetables, fresh vegetables. Yeah. But in my head, I just saw myself doing this like every day for the rest of the time that we were here. But the chicks were just growing so fast. So <laughs> it just really made me realize that wow, everything is just ever changing. Ever changing. <laughs>